Aloha ladies and gentlemen, you are watching GRTV. As you can see, what's going on over here? Well, we got we got me and IRL there, there, and, and, and I'm gonna do a five minute breakdown of how to most efficiently find your dream mate. How do you do it? Well, you start off with realizing that you don't want anyone else, you don't want your non-dream mate, so you're patient, you masturbate, it allows you to self-control yourself, not want anybody else to activate that second chakra for you. I don't have a dream mate, Jeezy, because I want to improve the world before enjoying a relationship with somebody else. I don't want to do that while people are suffering in the world. But don't say anything in the chat, please. How do you how do you mute the chat? Jimmy the Hobo Knight, I am streaming right now. Mr. G Light, I gotta turn on the phone and fax machine. Okay, just yeah, just mute the chat for me. Um, Alright, um Okay, so here's the deal guys. Okay, step one. Let's say you feel everything forget everything I've said. Let's say that you're Thank you. Let's say that you're ready, okay, for your dream mate. All right, first of all, you have to maybe make a dating profile, something to that effect that says, I'm interested and I'm available, and these are just who I am. You you know, you want to put out a fair amount of information about you, top three, you know, values or top three interests, and you want those to match up pretty well with somebody else. You know, when people are in person, and go on dates, quote unquote. They it might make you know it, the hormones can get into play and you can get distracted. So what you want to do is you want to you know you you, you want to have control over yourself and you want the right person. If you want that, you've got to say I want love. I only want love. And my dream mate will, will love me absolutely. You can imagine that they're looking over you. But again, how do I find this person efficiently? Dating profile. And maybe you see them at once. You can, if you just meet them in public in a place that you frequent, so you might likely have common interests in terms of activities and social activities, uh, then, then you, you might go on a platonic lunch date. With, with invite friends so that you're not alone together. You know, you don't want to, you don't want it to look like you're a, um, a, a married couple. You don't want to be alone together in a fucking movie theater. It's bullshit, it's fake, it's half-hearted because you'll get, you'll get circumnavigated by each other's uh, hormones. And that leaves you under the authority of your fucking biology and your monkey. That, you just let the monkey control you. So, Efficiency, how do we do it? You have your dating profile, you have your own profile of you know you know who you are, you know what you want, you don't want anything less, you want to be available for your dreammate. You have to imagine your dreammate is watching you. What moves would he or she want you to make, quote unquote. And then once you, you know, you could go on a platonic uh, date with them, Find a little bit then, like what school they, high school, or what 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 their, you know, surface level stuff. Like as if you're meeting a coworker, right? And then you can get more personal on email. You can know everything you want to about each other, on. Okay. Um, almost. Uh, everyone, deep breathe. If you're still watching, uh, focus, concentrate. Remember, breathing allows you to not be angry at other people. Uh, and d d d it says that, you know what, you're not going to be controlled by other people. Uh, if you're upset, it's because you're not breathing properly. Uh, I'm, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm about to sing you guys a song. I think I got the express the gist of it. You can you can do it, you can do internet. Please, Chaz, chat. Come on, just let me do this. You can pretend. Um, no, not pretend. You can do everything on the internet. Okay, you can email. You can talk to each other about intimate things. Send revealing pictures. Um, I want true love for people, and I want an efficient approach to it. And it's not efficient to just. 
Oh, maybe this person might like me. Oh, we have that thing common. Oh, we both like fucking one particular thing. It's not enough. There are dimensions to quote unquote love and true love and really getting to know a person and getting to know if and guess what chance the magic of love is it transcends physical things it might not be the most person that you would consider the most physically attractive um, but they should be comparable in health because you know you want to live your whole life together right uh, and that's only possible if you have similar lifespan potentials similar health right so let's go there let's go to a place of respect and trust where you're not trying to one-up somebody where you're not wanting to bitch or a submissive person beca uh, because they're not your dream mate where you're wanting a person who you can completely be equal to and and it makes you want a strong powerful person by the way which is good for obviously biological reasons but uh, s smart and strong um, but you get the idea it's a personal thing don't get distracted by other people's bodies and their lifestyles and whatever. And want good for them. If somebody's like, oh, I'm fucking don't care about my dream or my dreams or love. Well, guess what? It's not an enviable thing. All these short-term relationships. It's, it's people. It's, 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 you know, they have, they have their free freedom, but they're neglecting themselves. So don't be that, don't be one of them. You know, and it's some, something like wearing a wing, right? That indicates to yourself and others throughout your day that who you are and what you want in your life. Well said, why are you here? Maybe you're looking for true love and I can help you get there. Thanks for considering and aloha. And as a bonus, I'm going to sing you guys my favorite song. You ready for this? I'm going to... I'm going to sing you guys a fun, fun song. All right. You're gonna like this. You guys ready for this? Here we go. It's my favorite, one of my favorite songs. I, I can't can give you anything but love, baby. baby. That's the, the one thing I've, I've got plenty of, baby. baby. Scheming a while, scheming a while. We're sure to find happiness and I guess all those things we always tried for. Gee, it's nice to see you looking swell, baby. Diamond cufflinks the worst doesn't sell. It doesn't sell because true love transcends the physical. You'd rather be with that person even if they were in a wheelchair. You'd rather push them around. And that's how you know if that person's your dream mate. Would you want to push them in a wheelchair? Would you absolutely and unequivocally want to be with them? under all circumstances and the ups and downs of life because that is true love the challenge of it what's your foundation of love is it some superficial interests of physical interests or lusts or is it true love there's only one of two things in life guys love or lust and this is only in the area of of, of relationships like there's other things obviously that people are good at and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm good at everything, but I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the one thing I've got plenty of, baby. Dreaming a while, scheming a while, you're sure to find happiness. And I guess all those things you've always cried for, gee, it's nice to see you looking swell, baby. Diamond cuffs, the lust doesn't sell. Ooh, yeah, baby. Lucky day, you know darn well, well, baby. And we're talking to ourselves right now in the mirror. We're programming ourselves towards the direction of love.